in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Arizona Diamondbacks. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Well, so you here in Arizona, and this is a ballpark where traditionally the ball has jumped, but a few years back they installed that humidor, and now offense has been neutralized a little. And I think hitters still in their minds believe that the ball does carry, and that can produce some confidence as you step into the plate for your at-bats. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Merrill Kelly. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Ready to go now. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. And a pitch. And ball, ball one. <laughs> Headed down the line. He's got it. And there's one down. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. And a swing and a miss. That one, one misses. One and one and one. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. No, he did. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Man at first with one gone, and up to hit is Wilson Contreras. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Little chopper rolls foul. Goldie, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next pitch just misses. Now one and two. I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. This one in the air. Nabs it, two down. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. When you look at players like this, you play that hot ball corner. No Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Two outs. That clips the zone, and it's one and one. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And yeah, the right hander deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. 
when you look at the ability to save runs defensively but then also put runs up on the scoreboard that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have next pitch misses way outside that just misses full count three and two close pitch there and he's kind of wondering where it missed you know getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from a bat to a bat base knock center field Carroll quickly throws it in and now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get it great it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The 0-1. Ball, that's off the plate. That's nope. a little bit low. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That Ball misses the zone. Three and one. Ivan Herrera up next for the Cardinals. First and second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Three, two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Two on, two outs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And here it comes. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And that'll load the bases. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. Good power, not great in the OBP department right through there for a strike that one is upstairs Ground ball to first. He'll do it himself. 
out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So three left for St. Louis. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the desert. And today's starter, Matthew Libertor. What do we need to know here? Well, they're going with the opener in this one. So this is an interesting look. He's probably only going to pitch an inning, maybe two at the most. And it's going to be unconventional. I think he's going to pitch backwards, more off speed, and then fastballs late. We go to the bottom of the first. Here you go. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. The, center fielder. Corbin. Carroll. the wind of the pitch. Corbin Carroll was an easy choice for Rookie of the Year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consistent season that took a lot of drama away from the announcement. The world of baseball knew he was going to win it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. One out, base is empty. And a good eye there. And Boo, Carroll deserved the award, no doubt about that. At 22 years old, he had 54 steals and led the league with 10 triples. Made an immediate impact for Arizona and helped lead him to the World Series out of nowhere. One down, base is empty. That's ball two. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. And now Jack Peterson. In the air, left field, down the line. And that's a foul ball. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Just oh, missed. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. And that oh, one at 95 missed up top. Now 2 and 2. Two out, space is empty. That one to first. Takes it himself. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Onto the second inning here in the desert. No score. Back here at Chase Field, top of the second. And now the right fielder, Alec Burleson. Burleson measures six feet two inches, 210 pounds, and he was a second round pick in 2020. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Left hand batter waits. That one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. The 
the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Three, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. In the air, right field. Gritchick calls it in, and there's one away. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Out towards right center. That's well struck, and it's into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. Safe. And the go-ahead runs at third. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Runner at third with one gone. And here's the rookie center fielder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. With the go ahead run at third, here at the top of the second. two down yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat and up next for St. Louis Brendan Donovan he's all for one and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here late with the swing there with the runner at third, this is oh, who they boy. wanted to play. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Oh, and two now. Bam! Huge strikeout there. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And we're back. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Walker. Libertor back to work. High grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That is good. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way to lay off that pitch down.
Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. With the go ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. That one 95 to finish him off. Batting kick. Now it's Second Chase Peterson. Peterson. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's two down. That is seven. The right field. Randall. Richard. Randall Gritchick now. Pitch misses there. One and oh. And that's in there at the knees. Walker, the runner at first with two gone. And another ball. Next offering is fouled back. And down on strikes. And that is the third out of the inning. One hit, one left. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. Back here in the desert, now the number two hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. The wind of the pitch. That's hard hit in the line. And it's caught for the out. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Slings it across, and Contreras is retired. Here's Nolan Arenado. One for one with a single so far. Liner, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Nolan Gorman. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Not even close there. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Two. 
two outs. Ball, that's in. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And that'll do it. The cards leave one, and we are still scoreless. Set for the bottom of the go. third. Well, now at the plate, that. Jake McCarthy. No left field. And a pitch. Out to short. Win. Whips it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting none. Not shortstop. Blaze. Next to hit for Arizona, Blaze Alexander. <laughs> on the ground, right side. Gorman throws on the first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. The center fielder, number seven, Gorman. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Now up next for Arizona, Corbin Carroll. That's First pitch misses. Swing and a miss. One and one. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And now the lefty. On a line, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Gabriel Moreno getting ready to hit Ball, just off the inside edge. And that's down and away. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Libertor, oh, keeping safe. him close. And the pitch. That's out to center field. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. One left for Arizona. And we're still knotted at zero. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Ivan Herrera. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. On the corner for a strike. Swing and a miss. Hold two down. Hold two. That one missing inside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Wouldn't chase that time. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite.
Line drive, base hit. A leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Now it's the right fielder, Alec Burleson. That's towards center. In position. He's got it. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. In the air, right field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two away. Here's the center fielder. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Herrera leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. Still no score. Welcome back to the park. Now it's the DH, Jock Peterson. Liberator back to work. And fouled off. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And that one hit to first. Got him on the off-balance throw. Lead-off hitter retired in the fourth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. And now it's Christian Walker. And he's already singled in this game. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games. And we saw the latest example of it in his first AP. Just missed. Ball one, no fight. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first, and a couple of quick outs. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a foul ball. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Diamondbacks down quickly through four. Still tied. Zip, zip. Here at Chase Field, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. 
the pitch. And that one fouled off. Riding to the plate. Back to the mound. And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Pinch running here. Michael Ciani. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Fought off foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And that one fouled off. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. That one missed. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And the pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Nobody out. Runner at first. Should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kelly moved to first, and he's back safely. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Back to work, 3 2 now. This one belted deep left field on its way gone. His second of the year, the Cardinals score first. It's two nothing. The count was full, but he was ready to swing it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Wilson Contreras next up for the Cardinals. Ball. Just missed. You know, these cards doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. That's ball down and in. Two runs across in the inning, and we're at the top of the fifth. Misses inside, and now 3-0. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Brandon Fat appears to be getting loose. Castro also getting ready. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a strike on the outside edge. Headed towards the corner. Richick sizing it up. And makes the grab. 
one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Now here is Nolan Gorman. That's out. Yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. Man at first, one away. Wouldn't chase that time. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Top of the zone for a strike. And a count to a one. Kicks and fires. Fouls one off. Two and two. Arenado over at first with one away. Well struck left field. McCarthy going back on it. It's a ball. He jacks that one out to left. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 4 nothing. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Yvonne Herrera next up for the Cardinals one for two and there's the strike well they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning and this is where you want to just max out get as much as you can give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one inside just missed And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Torrey Lovello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Merrill Kelly will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Pitching change here, Brandon Fatt. He's been so good against lefties. And now the right fielder, Alec Burleson. And a foul ball. Fat, the tall righty, 220 pounds. And he was a fifth round pick in 2020. The pitch. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. That's inside, inside. And it's one and two. Oh, 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now here is Mason Wynn. Walker quickly to second for one. On the first double play, and that's the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Now into the ball game on defense, Michael Ciani. He'll be out in left field. Here's the second Where baseman, Jace Peterson. Flied out his the first time. Jace. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Well, these Diamondbacks just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. High in the air, out to right. Burleson under it. Hauls it in for the out. The right field, number 15, Randall. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Grichik. Randall Gritchick. Struck out swinging his first time. Aye. Swing and a miss. Strike one. All one's the count. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning, number five. Good eye right there. I got one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Right through there for a strike. This to third. Arenado to first, in time. And they're down to their last out. Next to hit for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. Grounded out his first time. And that's a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. The Diamondbacks down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the ball game. First career win, and it's a doozy, a complete game shutout. That puts you in the company of all-time great pitchers like Louis Tion and Addie Joss. What a performance today. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.